Mabu, hi, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. I want to talk a little bit about movies today. My favorite movie would be My Filipina's Life, My Wife's Life. We got married over eight and a half years ago, and that's what I pay the most attention to. We uh, just got done watching about four full-length movies the other night at some friend's house. Got to bed about 4 a.m. Now, those are good movies, and, and we like to watch movies at the theater and uh, bundle up inside, snuggle up together and watch TV, but or Netflix, I guess it is. But my favorite movie is what's going on in my wife's life, and I hope that some of you watching this video can relate to this. Let me know if you can. I married her in Davao City, Philippines back in 2015 after a whirlwind 54-day relationship. That's all it took for us to get married, proposed on day 18. So that's kind of a movie script in and of itself. But since then, I just pay attention to her and her life. Um, by that, I mean, well, you start with her health. Very concerned about her health. I want her to, uh, you know, eat well. I want her to take her vitamins like her first doctor told her to do when she got here. And uh, she doesn't always like to take those, but I sometimes have to get them out for her or any meds. I want to make sure that she follows through and stays healthy. So that's always on my mind. Her friends, I want to see her have some friends in her life and and develop those relationships. That's something I'm always praying for, and I want her to have good friends work. I want her to be successful on the job, and she's been promoted to different levels several times since she started working right away in 2016 after she arrived. And that's always something we're keeping up with and talking about and praying about her development at work because she's very skilled as I have said many times before so I want to see her get opportunities and do the best that she can over there and basically you know that's I'm more much more interested in her life honestly than I am my own and I hope if you're married to a Filipina or otherwise that that's the way you feel about her I mean I kind of Wish I could turn on a TV and see how it's going to end. But we can't fast forward this movie, this movie. Um, I hope you know, we can get another 10 years or together or so. You just never know how long you're going to live. But there's no way of knowing. Now, I do have my videos on the YouTube channel. Well over 1,600 videos now. There's a playlist I have called Just us and you have to be on YouTube to see that and it's got uh, over 200 videos of us um, for the most part doing things together like on vacation at different places maybe some things around the house here even from when we got married from that very day back in May of 2015 in the Philippines so I can kind of look at some scenes from the past like I'm watching a, an old movie or watching a movie again as I watch it for the 10th time and think about those days and reminisce what will happen in the future I don't know that's kind of the exciting thing when you marry somebody from so far away different culture and maybe age difference and generational difference you're wondering how that's going to go I would just tell you Try to enjoy it. Don't get too far ahead of yourself because you don't really know what's going to happen in the movie of your life. But like any movie, you know, there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be moments where you're, you're so happy. Everything seems to be following the script that you wrote. And then there will be a twist. Then there will be some drama. Then there will be some recovery and some more drama. And then you wonder, how is this going to end up? Well, I don't know. We've had our ups and our downs in our movie, which is now 
about eight years and seven months old, I encourage other men to look for a woman from the Philippines to marry. If you want to talk to me about it, there's that clarity link, which is now working, which you can access on my website, lvbts.com, that uh, a mysterious person named Mr. E developed for me. And that clarity link should also be in like YouTube um, description box, possibly in the link tree on TikTok. You can ask me anything you want. It's like a um, dollar a minute, which is like thirty dollars, half an hour, sixty dollars for an hour. And excuse me, um, I just ate spicy food. And so, I hope you get a chance to take the dive and go out of your comfort zone. Look to marry somebody from another culture. If you can't find anybody where you are, well, is that the end of your romance novel, your love story to watch and reflect on someday? Well, it, it could be. I almost gave up back in 2015. Now we're still doing, you know, year one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Year nine is coming up if you want to go by wedding anniversary. So this is the main movie, the main action that interests me. I just wanted to put it that way. And let me know if you have had some similar experiences with your love beyond the sea.